political race in Colorado is being watched more closely than the one for U.S. Senate. Yeah, the winner could determine which party controls an entire branch of our federal government. Democrat John Hickenlooper is trying to take Republican Cory Gardner's seat in Washington. Tonight, political specialist Sean Boyd has a reality check on an ad from Gardner going after his challenger. The mudslinging has begun in Colorado's U.S. Senate race. Democrat John Hickenlooper ran an ad attacking Republican incumbent Cory Gardner. Now Gardner has an ad suggesting Hickenlooper is a dirty politician. In Colorado history, only one governor has been convicted of violating state ethics laws. John Hickenlooper. That's true. In June, the state's Independent Ethics Commission found Hickenlooper violated state ethics laws by accepting illegal gifts. He got the maximum possible penalty. That's misleading. There is no set maximum. The penalty is based on double the value of the illegal gifts. In Hickenlooper's case, commissioners estimated that at $2,750. Some of them felt it should have been higher, even though it was the largest fine they'd ever imposed. They also could have fined him for contempt after he ignored their subpoena to testify, but they didn't because he did testify a day later. Hickenlooper took illegal gifts, traveled by corporate jet, toured Europe illegally in a Maserati. Toured Italy is an overstatement. Hickenlooper traveled to and from the airport in a Maserati limousine, courtesy of Fiat Chrysler, which sponsored the conference he was attending. He also took a corporate jet owned by home builder MDC Holdings to Connecticut for the commissioning of the USS Colorado. He's friends with the company's owner, who is a top donor of his. The ad also highlights a CBS4 investigation. Hickenlooper sold positions in his office for big corporate checks. That's twisting the truth. This was my investigation, and I never said Hickenlooper sold positions in his office. What I found is that private foundations paid for policy positions in the governor's office that aligned with their agenda. For example, Rose Foundation has paid for a health care advisor for years. If this ad is to be believed, governors Bill Owens and Bill Ritter also sold positions in their offices. Corporations did write checks to the governor's office. They told me the money was for public-private partners. Partnerships, not positions. It was completely dirty, and he told the media to cover it up. It's Gardner's opinion that Hickenlooper's actions were dirty. As for asking the media to cover it up, that's misleading. In an interview about the ethics investigation, Hickenlooper told a reporter, You guys should be protecting me on stuff like this. Stuff he went on to explain that he felt was unfair and untrue. Bottom line, John Hickenlooper's likability has been his superpower. This ad meant to make him less likable and, as such, more beatable, which is why Cory Gardner delivers his blows with a smile on his face. I'm Sean Boyd. That's Reality Check. Sean, thank you. Yesterday, she gave Hickenlooper's first attack ad a reality check. It was his first attack ad in his 16-year career as a politician. You can watch it on CBSDenver.com and click on Politics.